is 1600 as we mentioned trying to reduce the blunders in this area can suffer from over and under thinking especially against lower rated players take a look at this so early, early development of the queen attacking the pawn capture so it looks pretty normal ish king's not got any space for castling or king safety early attacking of the knight knight doesn't have any protection on it queen looks like it's going to be taken if they do takes with a check and then they resign at that point because they've lost the minor piece so a blunder type situation a key thing for the 1600s class them as like a more stalwart type of level of play because they can come out with some really good games um, especially against high rated players just shocking and surprising people so I'd say a 1600 is a it's a good level of knowledge and awareness it's just putting it all together at the right moment at the right time that's the area of the 1600 I can speak quite candidly about the 1600 area because online I've been 1600 for years and years and years and it does fall into that remit of blundering pieces really looking at my own experience of being of 1600 uh, it's a case of yes we've got the knowledge of attacking we've got the knowledge of defending we we've got the principles we feel like we're coming into our own in our own game but we do overthink and underthink like in this case here the position that we're going to end up in okay just watching 1600 in the under 1700 arena 10 minute game zero increment So the focal point is reducing the blunders over and under analyzing, especially against lower rated players. They're playing a 1600 at the minute, so we should see similar types of traits being displayed here. And that moment of a blunder and the snowball effect is just going to kick in. But if they're playing equal, then you're just looking at maybe a drawish type thing. So let's have a look and see how it's transpiring here. Both seem to play quickly. Now it's paused for a minute. Supporting, overly and under analyzing. So which are they going to be? Are they going to be playing defense nanny, which is not going to be a good thing for them. 1600s are, I would class them as like a stalwart type of rating in terms of they will practice the basics in a sense and um, it's often not it's the application of the basics that sometimes goes a little bit awry because they can get a little bit too um, overly zealous with their attacking and potential for the position they think they have so this then creates the blunderous types of positions that they may end up in losing pieces or losing the position I think this is going to be a good example of that because now look they've gone and lost the rook but it doesn't mean oh no they've, they've come back and defended so even exchange if they're going for it so a nice attack but the knight is defended was it kind of necessary to attack the knight then could they have developed more pieces out as the rooks are still stuck on the back maybe looking for the open file management of the open open file just little things like that but i don't know now it's going to jump here to attack the queen but then it's got no out really I suppose it can come here be defended by the queen not doing that okay so it's attacking the pawn but again it's going to get hit so it's, maybe it's thinking it's just jumping back again yeah oh it's not oh it's blocking the rook 
So just on the face of it, I'm looking like they've congested themselves in there when they didn't really need to. Uh, they probably would have been happy sitting here quite nicely. Nothing else is going to touch it. Now the rooks aren't linked. Queens come away from the king, so it's like the moving pieces away from the king. So the king has got no protection. This player's realizing this and they're coming for the quick and dirty. And they don't care, they're still focused on coming for it. So it's like a bit of arty play. That was not, I don't think, a good move bringing the knight back. So now they're just playing off the back. It's looking to get the trade, maybe try and get the rook opening up here. It's just simply supporting the pawn, really. But I think, again, yeah, it's oh, going for the open file, but could have basically taken this bishop off the board because the bishop's now attacking the rook here. A little bit too arty, a little bit like I, I kind of liken these to attempting to be like 1900s in the sense of the play simple chess, but it in this rating area, it goes a little bit too far in over and under analyzing the proper situation to find those appropriate positions, which then encounter the blunders. Knight could have simply just taken the bishop off the board. What was the issue with that? There's no issue with taking it. This rook can't come and defend because this bishop is blocking here. So probably going to take. May bring the knight here thinking, oh, I'm supporting it. Oh, it's brought the pawn to support. So little tiny tempo things like that of actually capturing appropriate pieces off the board does enhance your position on the board. This has made it more complicated for for black in a sense. I mean a simple capture again here would suffice really. Probably looking because he's got three pieces on this pawn that he's going to snap a pawn up. But really you could have got a higher piece off the board really. So they've left a strong piece on the board yet again. Queen takes, going for the exchange. This pawn is passed now, so they're going to have to babysit this pawn with the rook. And he's going to be snapping this pawn up as we go. Yeah, thinking he's clever by getting a fork on the bishop, but that bishop could have been taken off ages ago. Now he's got two pawns to contend with. He may as well resign. So those states of blunders really of not capturing the pieces appropriately and, and allowing their strong pieces to stay on the board is, you know, that's, it's blunderous in my eyes. It can't compete with these pawns pushing down. He's lost tempo as well because he comes here now, rook just comes here and the job's done. So resignation is kicking in. Still going for it anyway, and just gets a queen. Little bit arty there, could have taken a pawn or two. 